Hello dear students, so today I am going to discuss a very important topic. If you are confused with whether I should get exam or some other exams, so which exam is right for you and for your career depends upon your aptitude. So it will be a very short session and a very important one. So brief introduction of mine, I am Dr. Shodesh Singh. I am gold medalist from Aligarh Muslim University in the year 97 because I was university rank 1 with 9.52 CGPA and then uh, I did MTech from IIT Delhi and I cracked both civil services and engineering services examination and I worked for one and a half year for engineering services and then after resigning I did PhD from IIT Delhi. Now as per Scopus and Stanford University data I am top 2 percent scientist for year 2020, 24 and 25 this year also I got it. This uh, ranking depends upon the number of publication you have done and what is the quality of the journal. So I'm technically I am a researcher and if you want to connect with me, this is the PW Telegram channel. Every Sunday 5 p.m. I am live here. So whatever doubt you have, you can uh, ask me face to face or this is the basically channel for students, those who want to learn something in the production and industry. So they keep on asking questions. So if you have any doubt, just log in here and if you want to talk to me face to face, Sunday 5 p.m. you can log in. So what exactly GATE offers to you? First of all, let us see that. MTech, MS, NIITs, NITs, IISC. If your rank is not that good, let us say you have got 2,500 or 3,000 or let us say 5,000 rank and you are not able to get any good branch in core for MTech program, still you can get into MS program but in the MS program, we have to prepare a research proposal along with your, see GATE qualification means you will be getting the scholarship from the government. But to get into some of the old IITs, MS is a very good window. And in the Telegram channel, I have also given you a tad date, what should be the sample proposal for applying for MS program. You have to apply, at least give at least a two, three page of sample proposal that you are going to work in. How to develop that proposal also I have written there. Then if you are choosing MTech MS, you should have a better technical depth, research teaching opportunities, you will get it. But you should be liking engineering. I have seen many, many students that they are somehow got engineering degree, but they do not like technical stuff. So this option is not for them. <laughs> there are many, many students, not few. Now, uh, PSU through GATE, if you don't, do not want to study, still if your rank is good, you can get into PSUs. Few months back, there was a misinformation that all the PSUs are withdrawn from gate. That is not true. Of course, some PSUs are conducting their own examination. And if you are preparing for gate, automatically those examinations will be prepared. So, still some PSU recruit through the gate score. So, if you want to do the job, get good rank in gate and get into uh, PSUs and you, you, can, you will get good salary. For example, IOCL, ONGC, their salary is 20 lakhs plus to begin with. So you will get good salary. Okay, na? Research careers, PhD abroad, MS and PhD. If you have a good GATE score, you will get admissions into very good foreign universities like uh, NUS, Singapore and Germany. US is not any more lucrative because of, uh, you know, present uh, government so they are they are practically mashing up everything so i uh, i suggest you either germany or towards singapore or towards australia or towards east asia you you can choose some good universities so they also ask what is your gate score based on that they will give the fee discount or possibly some kind of a scholarship so that you can sustain now there is engineering services examination if you are good in technical stuff and you want to be a gazetted officer, then engineering examination is for you. Of course, whatever you are studying in GATE, around 65 to 70 percent is the same syllabus, but in the paper one of engineering examination, which is common to all, there is 10 different topics. Of course, we at PW provide a lot of support for that. So you don't have to worry about it, but 30 percent stuff you have to prepare and it requires complete one year preparation to appear in EAC. Otherwise, you will not crack it. If one year solid you prepare, then definitely you are going to crack examination. PSU specific exams also there. 
ISRO, BARC, DRDO, ONGC also they conduct separate examinations. Okay, no? And ISRO, DRDO, BARC, you have a good life. You will have job satisfaction if you like technical stuff. You will also have a feeling that you are serving the nation by contributing something to its security. If you are an engineer and if you work hard, mug up certain things quickly, then SSC, JE, state A, J E exams are for you. Primarily, these exams are not any fundamental based exams. How much you can mug up? There are every subject, there are 1000 questions. If you can mug up their questions and answers, I think you will crack SSC and you will get a job, a kind of government job. Now, other exam offers CAT MBA. There are many, many engineers, they don't want to be in the technical field. <laughs> not few, there are many. So, for them, they can appear in CAT and MBA and go for MBA programs for from IAM or other top MBA schools. Now, GRE and TOEFL, suppose you are good in English and you also want to basically remain in the technical field but abroad. So, GRE and TOEFL you can give, depends upon which country you are applying. So, some countries accept TOEFL and IELTS and some country accept GRE. So, these examinations, you should appear only when you are good in English. For example, Australia and Singapore, they ask at least 6.5 score in IELTS. So, if you are good, uh, you know how to speak English, you know some grammar, it is very easy to crack these examinations. But, always remember, those who are doing graduation from private colleges, uh, it requires some cost actually. Because 100% fee waiver, nobody will, no university will give. From IITs, NITs, BITS, Pilani, from these three institutions, you may get full fee waiver, but not from other institutions, unless until you have good publication record. Then you can go for private IT placements. If you want to a quick job after BTEC in software IT, with focus on coding, aptitude, and communication, you may get good job. But in the present scenario, uh, you must be seeing in the newspaper, 11,000 employees are fired, 10,000 employees are fired. So, to be frank with you, in the present scenario, uh, these uh, jobs are not that lucrative. So, next is, what is right strategy for you? You ask, first of all, three things from you. First is, what is my career dream? If your career dream is to become a researcher, go for it. Many few students want to be a teacher, not in coaching, <laughs> but in the private institutions or even IITs, then they can go for it because unless until you have a higher degree, your teaching position will not be stable in the long run. Now, you want government authority, go for EAC. <laughs> you want power, sometime red beacon, you want power, <laughs> go for EAC. A stable government job you want to do quickly. <laughs> In South India, we say Tundaraka and I want job. So, SSCG. Within six or seven months, you mug up certain things and you are, you are in. <laughs> now, high paying corporate business job, CAT or MBA. Prepare for CAT examination, go for MBA. By the way, somebody told me that HR policy is if you keep on fluctuating the job, your value will be more. I don't agree with that. <laughs> A top HR person told me actually, but anyway, the uh, MBA people are good at it. <laughs> Global opportunities you want to see multi countries, and uh, I have some students from South India, they are running a startup in Germany. So, apply for those uh, quick IT jobs, you go for placements. Placement training is altogether different, reasoning, aptitude you have to do. Second is where are my strengths? If I am good at technical concepts, go for GATE, ESE and PSU. But I am not in technical stuff, I just mug up just before examination during my BTEC and just vomited it. I am not good at it. Aptitude and communication, I am good at it. Go for CAT and placements. I am not good at these things, I am good at language and reasoning. Go for GRE, IELTS, and TOEFL. Now, question number three is, what lifestyle do I want? See, these are very, very practical steps I am telling all of you. Require and a stable job. In Hindi, we call it chutti time pe chahiye. 
no overwork go for government exams there is no overwork high paying job you want or you want a dynamic job go for mba and placements and if you want in depth research oriented stuff go for gate and gre now in short if you are technical and research minded go for gate you want prestigious government service minded oriented job go for ESCs and PSU if you are corporate management focused go for MBA if you are international career driven go for GRE if you want fast government job securely go for SSE and state exam but my dear students whatever branch you belongs to if you want detail and some insight because I am also a researcher I am also working for corporate <laughs> and I am a PhD, I am an ex is officer. So, any detail information you want, any Sunday 5 p.m., you can come live and I will be happy to answer any one of your questions. On behalf of PW, I wish you all the best and thank you very much.